Yeah. Yo. Hey, Ondiek. Bro. How are you, man? <laughs> good, man. Good, 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 good to see you. How many years? 10, 15? More than 15. <laughs> More than 15. <laughs> <laughs> that is my name. Yeah? <laughs> Karibu Sara Kwetu. Karibu Sara Kwetu. Karibu yeah. Sara Kwetu. From music to fashion. Yeah. To politics and yeah. many things. So, who is the what is the epitome of Ted Josiah? Creativity. Huh? Must create. Must create. Must create. Must create. No option. Joker joke. Yes. Blue zebra. Yes. Audio vault. <laughs> Sync sound. Sync sound. Yeah. So, which one do you think is your best creation? You know, um, a simple answer for that is um, if you ever get to your best creation, yes, you retire go and home. die. Huh? Yes, retire and die. So, not yet. No bado, mambo bado. Mambo bado. Mambo bado. Tunachemsha. Yeah? Bado njo tunayanda. Is that Kiswahili or that is Oswahili? Oswahili. <laughs> so, we are undying. Let's, let's go and have a sit down okay. and see. Who is this gentleman who has changed Kenyan music scene, now fashion industry? Yeah, well, attempting and attempted. Attem <laughs> and done. <laughs> and done. Karibu sara kwetu, man. Thanks, man. Karibu. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. I can see the joke a joke. Yes, this is one of our bags. Joke yes. A joke bag. Uh -huh. That is called the, you know what, the scorpion is called in Doluo. What, does, what do you call it in Doluo? Tomoni. Tomoni? Yes. Scorpion. That, that's that's Ugenya Luo or South Nyanza Luo? <laughs> oh, it's Luo Luo proper. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the Maasai call it uh, Engulupa. Engulupa. Uh, Trukana call it uh, Kukutan. Why, why Jok a Jok? Kamacho. Why Jok a Jok? Well, Jok a Jok uh, is part of my lineage mm. from my grandmother's side. Mm. Uh, one, two. But also, um, mm. I had the misfortune of losing my wife. Yes. Um, back in 2017, mm. and her name was Qatar, Regina Qatar. Yes. J O mm. is Josiah, mm. K A is Qatar, which yeah. was her name. Yeah. Her surname. Yeah. And J O is uh, Josiah, my daughter. Yeah. Uh, so we went to Josiah and Kenya. So we went to Josiah, Kenya. Yes. Mm. So that is Joka Jok. So it, it, it's, it's, it's one Joka Jok, the lineage Joka Jok, the family. The lineage and the legacy. And the legacy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the lineage and the legacy. So welcome to History Makers. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. So the History Makers is a program where we interview the exemplary Africans okay. who have done big things and you are doing mm. big things. Asante. I remember our days when you are in music. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right? You've cut TV, you've cut radio. You were in, in Radio Kidogo? Yes, I was in radio. Yeah, yeah. Then production, yeah. sync sounds. Yes. And all those other studios. Yeah, yeah. At attempting to live a dream and make it happen. I think that's what I was doing. But you've always made the ha <laughs> dreams <laughs> happen. <laughs> I, I, I tell people I was, a, and I still am in my mind, I'm still that small boy who mm. is chasing mm. the dream. Chasing the dream. So if you, if th this journey has been with too many ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, too many successes, too many misfortunes. Yeah. You lost your partner, someone who was a very a driving force of the latest fashion yes. Yes. industry. Yes. How did you pick up the pieces? How did you? Ha, ah, bro, picking up pieces from from loss is uh, is tough. It's very. Um, you've come to me towards Father's Day, and for me, mm. I've only managed to go through Mother's Day, mm. which is always a tough journey. But Father's Day is always when I start thinking about my journey with this little girl mm. and how how rough it was mm. and how I had to teach her to smile because if I taught her to cry, mm. which is the journey, journey. I was going through, yes. then she'd be a very miserable child. Mm. Um, it is tough in that you have to dig deep into yourself yeah. and just find purpose a reason to smile, a reason to live, a reason to believe mm, mm. And, and, and pick up. Mm. Uh, but the bags mm. gave me, in a sense, a funnel, a channel mm. to bag my emotions. Inside, you know, yeah. put my yeah. emotions and my effort and my energy into mm. all of that. So mm. raising a child and then putting my 
you know, as a creative, the worst thing a, a creative can do is mm. go through grief. It's the worst. Because mm. creatives overthink things, whether it's a writer, it's a mm. sculptor, mm. it's a singer, it's a musician. Mm. We tend to overthink things. Mm. So when we have an activity to do, mm. it helps us to relax, relax and yeah. release that energy and focus that grief into something else. Mm. And, and, and that's why um, I went into it. And you went whole hog now and you said, this is it. Um, for me, this was like, uh, this is my final bullet. Uh, it, I want to leave a legacy and the legacy has to be about mm -hmm. transcending all creative genres. Yes. From music to visuals to sculpting to art to fashion. Yes. And I've doubled in all of them and mm -hmm. I enjoy all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that I really had not um, made a mark in is fashion. was fashion. Yeah. And I thought, I want to do it, but I don't want to do clothes. Mm -hmm. um, I can do clothes easily with my eyes closed, mm -hmm. um, but I want to do bags mm -hmm. because bags are long living. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a bag here that is from uh, 1970, the year I was born. Mm -hmm that my grandfather gifted my, my mom when mm -hmm. she was going for her first job interview. <laughs> he is. And it still stands. Oh. So I thought to myself, wow, if we can do bags that live that long, mm -hmm. then that means that 50 years from now, mm -hmm. people will be talking about, you know, this Joker Jock is mm -hmm. from 19, you know. Yes, yes. And yo, I won't be there, but the bag will be there, you know. The bag will be a reflection yeah, it of... Yeah, it will be a reflection of a, a dream and yes. a legacy. And which you've created. Exactly, yeah, yeah which was so important for me, so important. So you decided this is it, silver bullet, you went whole hog. What do you say, what do you do say? Is it picking up? What is the... How are people picking the bags? Are they... Because it's a, it's a novel way of doing, they're hand-stitched, they're better quality. Do you want to go international with them? We want to go international, definitely. Mm. Um, but I've, I've been very uh, careful with, mm. with it. When you're looking at anything in the fashion industry mm. or um, retail industry, mm. the first thing you have to make sure of is your production base. Yes. You have to make sure that your production base is solid. Mm. You have to make sure that you can create those things over and Double. over and over and over again. So you have a research and development Team. phase mm. that you have to go through whether you like it or not. Two, three years. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we are only on our third year now. Mm. And this is the year where we're saying, okay, I think we're ready for the rest of the world. I think we're ready for the rest of the world now. We've, we've gotten it right, you know. Mm. Um, only we can see the mistakes now. Mm. Uh, but the first year you're going to have bags that are coming back because yeah. of a small era, a stitching yeah. era, yeah. a what era, mm. uh, which happens when you're, you're, when you're doing... Up, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Anything, even if you're making toys for kids, yeah. um, you have to do R&D. And R&D is, is a treacherous phase. Mm. You're hoping to sell enough to get by mm. and <laughs> to continue the journey mm -hmm. of R&D. Mm. And you're hoping that you get to that mark where now people accept the right. items and and make it into a, a brand that they say okay it's, it's, this it's is what, ours so this is the third year yeah and the third year after you losing your wife still fifth year fifth year yeah oh it's long i thought this is oh, the other yeah. day 2017 2017 that the girl has grown, <laughs> she has grown. <laughs> the girl the gummy bear has grown yeah the gummy bear is no longer the gummy bear now she's a fully fledged uh, bear she's a fully fledged bear. <laughs> She's a proper bear. She's going to school now. She's going to school. She's yeah. in PP2. Mm. Yeah. Ah, great. So let's 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 get back to the journey of who Ted Josiah is. Mm. You talked about your mother. Your mother comes from, and your father. You you from a prominent family. Your grandfather must have been the first chief DC in Uganda. My great grandfather was the first, first DC. My, yes, my great grandfather. That Mr. is Mr. Samuel. Do Samuel? That's my grandfather. <laughs> Samuel is your grandfather. Yes. So his father yes. was the first. I can't. His father was called who? Uh, I just know him as Josiah. Josiah. Original. Oh, yes, because it's Samuel <laughs> Josiah. Yes. There's Samuel and Ezekiel, who are his two sons. Yes. That people know. Yes. Because those are from our our now my grandfather's lineage. Yes. And and they were uh, my grandfather Samuel Josiah. Yes. Was the first PC In, provincial yes, commis commissioner, commissioner yeah. of Rift Valley. Yes. Um, this was during the transition of uh, uh, colonialism into independence. Yes. Uh, it was the 60s. 
Yes, in the it 60s. Was, it, was, it was from the 50s to 50s the 60s. To 60, yes. yes. And then that's when your uncles... Uh, yes, my uncles became um, ambassadors. Ambassadors. Green Josiah, yeah, Green and Frost, Frost Josiah. Yeah. And there's one who people don't know who is Michael. Who passed Michael, yes, Michael. Michael Josiah. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your family is of high achievers in Ugenya. Uh, well, if you're from Ugenya, you must be a high achiever, full stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Yes. You know it. There's, yes. there's pressure that comes with that. Yes. The, yeah. The, so your grandfather, the first PC, your, yes. your uncles, your auntie, the first the fa justice, justice in yes. uh, ISIS, what was it, uh, Hague? Yes, my, 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 my father, the first chiropractor. Ch yeah. Yes. Um, so we, we have a lot of uh, firsts in, in our family. Yeah, it's a, it's a first family. It's a pioneering spirit. It's a, yes. It's a very pioneering spirit. You are the first fashion. <laughs> How did you take it? You remember your, your grandfather yes. is a PC. Yes. Your uncles are ambassadors. Yes. Your father is a doctor. Is a doctor, <laughs> and he didn't want you to do music yeah, at all. At all. My mother was a computer, computer scientist. scientist. Now yes. you, you woke up and you say, "I want to be a producer." At least I was the first. <laughs> <laughs> at least I was the first. You know. Um, the, initially, growing up, my, my my folks just didn't get me. They couldn't. But. Part of the reason they yes. didn't get me is, part of, is in part their fault. Yes. They had me when they were very young. Yeah. My mom was only 19 when she had me. Yes. And um, they were going through the journey of self-discovery. Yes. Now my dad, he's a musician in his heart. He's a, he's a, he's a doctor, yes, but yes. he's the guy who inspired me to go into music. Every, I grew up in Chicago and every weekend yes. we'd be in uh, the music store yes. buying records with him. Yes. So, you know, a child that small, five, six years old, what yes. are you going to do? You You're going to think, my dad likes music, so music Let's is do the it. thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. if he had introduced me to neurosurgery, maybe I would have been like, okay, you like do him. this. But yeah, but yeah. every weekend we're listening to music and it's the thing that the family does. I went into music. <laughs> I went into <laughs> that music. Was, that was a, yeah. sort of a disaster for him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Be careful what you introduce <laughs> your child to. <laughs> Because he didn't see you in that element. He didn't see you just, my son, Ted, is going to be a musician. I'm a doctor. We are high achievers. That time, music in Kenya had not opened that space, you remember? Yes, yes, it had not. It um, had. So you were a pioneer. So yes, yeah. how, What was your journey of pioneering this? Hey, we could speak that on that. I don't think you have enough tape. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. Um, <laughs> Starting the journey of music production, I started as an artist yes. back in 1990, yes. just after high school. Mm. And um, I started with a friend of mine called Peter Dara. I know Pete very and, well. And uh, yeah. uh, Dr. Reverend Peter Dara now yes. 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 Uh, is, he's the one who showed me that, you know, this thing is possible if we just dream a little bit. We were yes. both graphic designers and we both had a passion for music. Yes. Um, so we went knocking on doors trying to you know, you believe that I'm the best at what I'm doing, so mm. maybe I can get my demo yes. listened to yes, by yes. a Somebody. record label. Yeah. And um, I remember the record label was called Tamasha. Yeah. It is where Citizen is now. Yeah. By the way, do you know that they still own that record label? People forget Citizen. that, yes, they own. They still own SK Tamasha? They still owns that record label. So but he sits on a huge collection, collection of records. Kenyan music he that people a... have not heard. So anyway, I walk into I walk into Tamasha with Pete, and um, I have my demo mm. uh, that I've paid a hundred bob to record, which mm. was a lot of money. Yes, a lot. Yes, yeah. And uh, as his technician, some Kamba technician, was sent to him for him to listen to the music, mm. and he listens to the music and he throws my cassette back at me. <laughs> throws my cassette back <laughs> after 100 bob you've spent ni rap hii rap kwa ni unafikiria rap sasa na gospel hata itawahi kuingiana wewe kwenda hapa na it will not do, what you're doing is useless taka taka eh. so i had walked from woodley to kileleshwa, kileleshwa for rehearsals to, yes and then from kileleshwa to tamasha yes to be rejected ay, 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 ay. and then now we are going to do the long walk from tamasha to woodley to woodley eh? yes to this present day that yes. thing it still has <laughs> it inauma has, kidogo has. inauma kidogo inauma <laughs> <laughs> uh, um but uh? what happened was um yes. 
many years later, yeah. after now music had opened up for me and I was busy recording, my recording studio was right opposite Tamasha. That's where God ended up putting me, at the place of rejection. This is like 10, 15 years later. later yes. And one day mm. I go to Bruce Odiambo's yes. studio and he's there with his friend and he, he asked me, do you know this guy? And I said, no. Yeah. He said, look at him properly. And I said, no, I don't know him. Mm. It was the engineer who had rejected me. What did he you had come to look for a job. So Bruce told me, look, give him a job, Bana. You know, we, sh we have to occupy our guys. Mm. I, told him, I asked him, you, do you remember me and what you did to me? What did you say? Peter, you know, so I, yeah. I left it alone. But yes. anyway, mm. uh, life is a journey. It's a journey, ne by Never the way. knock a person because you never know no, where you're going where, to. Yes. The way yes. you're going to need them. Yeah. But uh, that was in the 90s. Um, we then went to family, yes. uh, which was Leo Slingerland. Yes. Uh, again, we got another rejection. <laughs> um, that letter I still have to date. STV. Yes. Yes. Get off your high horses and find a job. That is how Leo Slingerland wrote to you guys. Wrote to us and brought us back down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, yeah. one must re-strategize. Yes. And I kept on just producing music and producing music and writing music mm. until one day Jimmy Gadu. Yes. Um, walks into my servant's quarters on a, on a, I think it was a Sunday afternoon. And he says, hey, Ted, look, mm. I've got a job. Mm. So you can bang out a commercial real quick. Yes. And I say, yeah, no problem. Mm. So I carry my uh, little keyboard mm. with my little computer that could only save 786 MB. <laughs> 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 idea imenda na yo. <laughs> Halafu ilikuwa imekonektiwa na Great Wall TV. Yes. Ndiyo ilikuwa monitor. Eh. So Great Wall ndiyo ilikuwa monitor. Eh. Sasa kabeba na virago vyangu nikaenda nika set up hapo kwa studio. Eh. Sync Sound Studio. Yes. I did the commercial real quick. Yes. Um like 30 30 30 minutes. I've come up with a beat. I've composed. I've told Jimmy this how you'll sing it. So the engineer looks at me and asks me, "Hey kijana, where did you learn how to do that? Because I've just come from New York, mm. and what you're doing is what is what those guys are beginning to learn to do. Mm. I say, well, um, I just mean the magic foundation. Tuko nyumba, kuna YouTube, kuna web, kuna internet, kuna nini? Yes. Ni masomo tu vitabu ni kaji fundisha kwa YouTube. And then what happened was uh, we ended up doing the commercial with Jimmy. Yes. Salama condoms for uh, TZ. Yes. Uh, campaign, yeah. which did very well. Yeah. Nika lipo thousand gune nika jiona we. Ah, you, you now you are, it. you are making. You are making. it. Ume <laughs> una pesa. Eh, taone. For thou. Ah, for a 30 second job. Yeah. Ah, no problem. So this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Yes. So Emil Juma, the late. Um, yes. Sync Sound. Says, yes, Sync Sound. He yeah. says, yeah. actually, why don't you come and work for us? Because me, I'm an engineer. Mm. I'm a musician and engineer. Mm. I need a person like you who can produce. Mm. Me, I didn't even know what I was doing. So you walk into Sync so Sounds. I walk in yeah. and now he's calling me producer and I say, okay, Sawa, you're you you your title young, yeah. Sawa. Sawa, do it at Pingi. Producer, yeah. producer, yeah. producer yeah. So and then he, you know, like this. So he became my mentor yes. and my guide through my initial Stages. introduction into, into music production. Into music production. Mm -hmm. um, and then Jimmy used to play a lot of, Jimmy Gado used to play a lot of stuff on uh, KTN. Mm. Uh, Jamadelic and what behind Rice the Strat, scenes. Yeah, yeah. Bit, yeah. Now those behind the scenes, happened you nikuanga na tegea, na na baby face, baby face anadu. Okay, you ni keyboard gani ana chesa? Wa? Unajua ina kujia five six. Una chukua notes. Una andika, una andika. So, I just became very curious like that to see what to learn through those behind the scenes things, and I would compose, and that's how Shades of Black came about. That's how. Hardstone came, came about, out, yes. and uh, with Hardstone we had the huge hit with Uhiki. Uhiki was massive. Yeah, after massive. Uhiki, everything else just became easier to do. Um, I got to work with um, Kala Mashaka, yes. uh, Tafsiri He, mm. I got to work with Warogi Wawili, I got to work with uh, now Niki, Gidi, Maji Maji, mm -hmm. Niki, yes. uh, Maina Kageni, yeah. uh, the, the list, David Ohingo, the late. Yeah, David uh, Yeah. Um, so many artists, Susanna Owio, um, uh, um, Abura, Aching Abura, Aching Abura yes. um, 
Dij. Yeah, Dij. Um, there were so many people that I got to work with through yeah. that through that period. Yeah. But I left Sync Sound in about what? 1998. December. Yes. December 13th, 1998. But because but, that's the time you. Because re- um, Hudson was 97. 97. That's when you did Uhiki. Hardstone and Kalamashaka. And Kalamashaka, 97. Yes, 97. And then before that, the Hardstone was the first big artist. He was the first big artist. Big yeah, artist. Yeah. And that was Sync Sound. Yeah. Before you moved sound. to Audio Vault. Yeah. That, yes. So yes. how did you decide now? I ni me grow sasa Let me move to Audio Vault with uh, David Moridi and, 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 and Mike Rabaya. Yeah. W- one of the things that I tell young people is, look, if you have an opportunity, yeah, don't use it and spend all your money. Yes. I had an opportunity with Sync Sound. Yes. Sync Sound told me, mm. we'll give you a salary of 10,000. Mm. Me rent na lipa 12. Mm. Salary ni 10. Mm. Nika ka nika sema, ay. Okay, you guys do this, eh? Mm. Give me 40% mm. of any job I bring. Mm. They said, what is this kid going to bring? Mm. Cool, 40%. So we signed a contract. I finished studio, I kutunga vitu zangu za ujinga ujinga. I finish composing and one day I tell my boss, take me to Coke. He mm-hmm. says, for what? Mm-hmm. I say, listen to this. Mm-hmm. So he listens to it, he says, well, sounds viable, let's mm-hmm. go to Coke. Mm-hmm. Me, I don't know there's an advertising agency, I don't know. T- you didn't know. T- I didn't know. Yes. I'm a green guy. I met a guy in Goma and I met a guy in Coke. Coke, why? why when was me, me, yes. Uh, me, I don't know there are things called commercials or, or none of those things. So I take it to Coke. Mm. Apparently, Coke had a policy of do not turn mm. a person back if they have an idea. Mm. Always listen to the, the idea. idea. Yes. So I'm sitting with Coke and uh, I ask for the GM and they say, hey, what do you want to see the GM for? Yes. I say, well, I've got a, some music I want him to listen to and I want only him to listen to. Mm. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's an idea. Because uh, yes. the GM was brought. Yes. And then he says, come to my office. I've got five minutes. Uh, come and to tell listen. me. So yeah. I say, I'm a music producer. I've been a gospel musician. I've got this thing I want you to listen to. And he just got curious mm. and interested in me. Mm. He says, OK, so where are you from? I say, I'm from Nairobi. I've been doing this mm. for these many years. What? And then he says, OK, well, um, let me have a listen. Mm. So I play for him um, this demo that I've done for him on cassette mm. Mm. and 30 seconds into it mm. he stops it and the guy turned red mm. he was like a mzungu mm. and he says what mm. give me a minute mm. so he takes his phone he mm. calls yeah. um, uh, so I don't know who he's talking to and he says why is it that I've got the commercial that I've been asking you guys for all this time mm. I'm the one who has it mm. do you know who these people are mm. They say, no, we don't know. Mm. Okay, I'm sending him to the office and you have to, this is the commercial I want. Mm. Bro, Kumbe, yes. Coke had told uh, their advertising agency, I won't name names, Rosafi, Nishawa Samea. Peace. Sinoma. Our meambiwa, go yeah. and pitch. Yes. Tell all the studios mm. to give you their demos mm. of commercials for Coca-Cola. Mm. It was a very hot January, mm. 96, mm. 95, very hot January. Mm. Uh, so give us demos and then we'll choose. Mm. We were not selected. Who was selected? <laughs> Kenya ilienda vile Kenya inaenda. So <laughs> the guys who were supposed to pay through the back door had but, been selected. Mm. Uh, we had not been selected. In mm. fact, nobody even told people you. said that we don't exist. Mm. So uh, that was my first break. Mm. Now, why am I telling you this story? Mm. Because remember, I said I want forty percent. Mm. It was four hundred thousand that was put on the table. Boom! Ooh. That was my first big job. Me forty percent. Sina Norma. Yeah. kula ten. Niongeze two tau. Nili parent. Naishi across the road. Naiza tembea mpaka kwa nyumba. Yes. So, Madim ni moeka X. Yes. Kazi yangu ni ngoma. Home. Home. Ngoma. Home. Home. So, all this money that I'm making, I did Coke, I did Stravinsky vodka, I did uh, Sprite, I did Stony, I did uh, Crest, I did Yanni, I did all the Coke catalog. Yes. 
Um, and then commercials now started coming in one mm. by one by one by one by one. Mm. All these 40 percent, mm. I would tell my boss, you do this, mm. don't give me the money. Mm. You see this piece of equipment, mm. buy it buy for, for me. me. Yeah. Because he used to like to travel. Mm. So he would go, come back with a sampler, mm. go, come back with a sound bank, mm. go, come back with a keyboard, mm. go, come back with a, you know. Mm. So the studio started to gain a lot of equipment. Mm. Now, one day in 98, mm. we had finished um, a tour, mm. Kalamashaka's first tour of uh, Nigeria. Benson and Hedges. Benson and Hedges. Yes. We had just finished it. Yes. We come back and my boss is very upset. Mm. Partially because hakuwa likuwa kwa tour. Mm. Sasa tour si mini kwa napanga. I was not organizing it, unfortunately. Mm. The guy who was organizing it mm. was the manager. So mm. the manager said, these are the tickets. These are the people who are going. Mm. So my boss and I have a nuclear fallout because they feel like mm. this guy has grown, grown bigger than his boots. Mm. And I say, they say, well, you know, we don't think we can work with you anymore. Mm. We're terminating your contract. Mm. I said, say less, say less. I'm off. Tuavi tuzangu kwa studio. Eka kwa gari. You're out. Out. Uh, I didn't even ask for my pay. Mm. I just left. Mm. Because mm. my investment was in myself. I had bought gear. I had bought gear. So mm. I knew, even if I leave. I, you need to start <laughs> a studio anyway. I'll be okay. I'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. Um, so we started a business, Audio Vault, with uh, Mike Raba and uh, Mredi. David Mredi. Yeah. Mike didn't last all of two months. Um, Mike uh, ended Left. up just deciding, From you know what, yeah, I want to do Homeboys. Yeah. And we said, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, with Davey, we, we, we stuck together for about two, three years. Mm -hmm. uh, we you did we were responsible for Ismarwa. Yes. We were responsible for the second chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, responsible for Gideon Maji, the album. Mm -hmm. Um, is responsible for Atoti, mm. the single, mm. um, responsible for Nikki's second release, David Ohingo's release, mm. Warogi Wawili, uh, Darling P. And Darling P, yes. Maina Kigeni was the first batch in Kenya 97. Kenya first chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah in 97. Kenya first chapter. So, <clears throat> what happened was, um, David just started feeling like, I, and he had warned me, he said, as soon as this gets not tenable not happy for me yes i'm going to walk out because i want things that give me joy mm. uh, music production is not always happy it's not always happy it's a lot uh, of creativity is not always happy you yeah. know when you're trying to write something and this the writing is not writing mm. you know um so milima na mabonde we said you know what mm. you do you let me do me mm. so I started Blue Zebra, mm. um, and Blue Zebra now did Unbuggable, it did uh, Nazizi and Wiry Necessary Noise. Uh, the um, first album? Yeah, yes. second album. Second, yeah, second Actually, album. first and second. Mm. Uh, it did, it did uh, Wayo Wayo, Achie Ngabura, mm -hmm. Susano Wio. Yeah, yes. We did a lot of stuff mm. in, that, uh, in, that, in that arena. Mm. And from Blue Zebra, I started feeling a migration towards video. Yeah, you went into video production. So Blue I went frames. into video production, yeah, Blue Frames, mm. which was the sister company of Blue Zebra. Mm. But also, um, Blue Frames started to do television yes, production with VP. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mongolo and Dij. Dij, yes. And um, backstory of VP. Mm. What happened was, used to have the Steadman reports. I don't know what they're called nowadays. But the Steadman reports mm. would indicate the ratings of which TV shows is higher. are doing well. Mm. And it was always news. Mm. And then after news was Friends and things like that. Mm. Week number three, mm. VP had passed news. That was very popular. It had Extremely passed Extremely popular. We didn't know. Mm. We're being paid 15,000 bob a show. And then somebody whispered to us in the corridor. Mm. <laughs> so as we went and uh, did a sit-in, um, a few friends of mine in KTN were not very happy, but we had to make some, some of our bread back. Yes. 
<laughs> so VP ended up t taking a lot of our time. Yes. And also opening up doors for television production. We ended up doing Plus, which was one of uh, KTN's uh, um, music shows as mm. well. Mm. We ended up doing some dramas here and there. Mm. And it got to 2006, mm. where in 2006 what happened? Uh, I took a hiatus. I just went to TZ mm. and took a break mm. because I was doing some television stuff also there. Mm. But coming back mm. to 07, mm. um, we found that our friends were doing campaigns. Mm. So we decided to join. Si tu shava nyan bogi bol in two o two, in two o seven. We do what comes naturally. Political. Tingi shanchi. Yeah. Way, hey bro. Yeah. <laughs> Way. Yeah. Mindi on li tingi shwa. Oli toka. Yeah, he li bidin toke. Um, I I I I got to a point, bro. Um, one, I was already bored of making music. Yes. Because I had done it. Several. All. I could do it with my eyes closed. Mm. And I knew that music is not the only thing I want to do. Mm. I want to do other things. Mm. Um, so I ended up now thinking, from television comes film. Mm. So I want to go to film school and just study mm. film and, you know, um, go into film and open up my mind into other things. Mm. So my plan in 2007 mm. was to come back home and then go to the UK anyway. Mm. Having done the campaign in that 207, you ended up by 208 February. Mm. I was with my small box, mm. with my laptop, a pair of jeans, and a shirt at the airport waiting for the next flight. Literally waiting for the next flight out. Nikalipa, ndege na toka sangapi sa wacha ningoje hapa manoko inje nikubaya. It's not safe for me. Mm. <laughs> so who? What was the? What was the hurry? What happened? In that two or seven, that we are rushing out that way. You know, when you're young, you think you're you're invincible. Yes. You you can't be destroyed. Yeah. And after doing an bogeyball, I was feeling very invincible. Yes. Two or seven. What happened was I did all the TV campaigns for ODM. Yeah. All. All of domo, them. Domo Domo. Including Domo. Yes. <laughs> now the problem with Domo is. Yes. It irritated the powers that be. Yes. Because anything they did yes. was being responded to Domo. by Domo. Yes. And it was not working. So their advertising could not work. Mm. If you go to your archives, you will find mm. uh, Kibaki's late wife L saying, Lucy, yeah. And the Wambia of Vijana, wa wache ku interfere na advert zetu. Word for word. Yes. On a campaign trail. Mm. Bro, your message is too much. Sharp, sharp. Yeah. Sharp, sharp. To you guys. Sharp, 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 sharp. Mm. I was walking down, going to the studio where we were, mm. and a green vehicle yeah. packed with guys stops in front of me, mm. and they try to push me into the car. Mm. But at the time, yes. I was with my boys, and they were a pack of six, so yes. they came mm. running. Mm. Hey, what are you trying to do with this guy? So those guys. They panicked because now it was too much of a commotion and they took off. Mm. After that, I was told, you know, best thing to do. Disappear. Just uh, lay low, lower than an envelope. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not flat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the mali unatakikana hapa, yeah. unatingisha system sana. Mm. So that's what happened. Um, in hindsight, mm. it was not my father's campaign. I shouldn't have taken it too too far too far and too personal uh, yeah i think i pushed it <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> now i say to myself yeah, yeah i would have, have i would have left some window yeah, at a way when you president what would you have done yes you know um they were very pissed off yes they were very pissed off um and and uh Creatively on the other side, me I thought, yeah. Iconini, because Bruce was on the other side. Yeah, Bruce so was I'm on like, the yeah. other side, so of I'm course. Like, Come on, Mina Tupa, Bruce Mina Tupa, Mina Skumbe, Mina Tupa, Zaidiao. So, Wanginiambia <laughs> cooled out. That's what happened, and um, I'm actually thankful I went to the UK. You stayed for how long? Seven years. Yeah, it was long. Yeah, seven years, seven years. Uh, 
It was the exact break that I needed. So what were you doing in UK for those seven years? What, what, did you go to school? Did you miss home? I, I missed home thoroughly, bro. Yeah? I missed home thoroughly. I missed home thoroughly. Um, I would never move back to the UK. Um, one, mm. I realized I don't like the cold. Mm. Something triggers in me psychologically when it's cold. Even if it's in Kenya and it's cold, mm. I just go into depression. Mm. I don't like cold. Mm. Me, I'm from Inyanza, I'm from the tropical areas. We don't know what cold is. Mm. Mm? Mm. Uh, but also, mm. I ended up with... Um, I had friends in the UK already because I, had, I used to travel there three, four times a year. Mm. So they were like, hey, Ted, you know what? We can actually use somebody with your expertise. Come. Mm. So I joined a company, an animation studio called mm. Steel, Steel Drum Studios. Mm. And um, Sedley Brown, mm. the MD, mm. took a liking to me. Mm. Now, me, I'm there. I'm 38 years old. These guys are in their 20s. They are rocking. They're killing it in the animation field mm. in London. Mm. Um, smack in the middle of London, Oxford Street. Mm. And they're two Jamaican boys. Mm. So they're like, ah, you're a black brother. Come. We'll train you, we'll show you the ropes, we'll, we'll give you the knowledge we have. So mm. I started getting trained mm. on the job, literally mm. getting mm. trained on the job. Mm. So I got training in animation, in, in cinematography, in filming, in new equipment, in new media, mm. in what was going to happen. Mm. And that gave me a different lease of life because now I saw life in, you're seeing life 10 years ahead, what's mm. going to happen mm. in media 10 mm. years ahead. Mm. Um, and I spent a lot of time, I did commercials for Mayor of London, mm. I did commercials for Nike, mm. people don't know, I <laughs> did for Adidas, mm. I did uh, commercials for Nat Geo, mm. I did commercials for some electronic stores in, in, in London, mm. um, all animation stuff and, and sound and those mm. kind of things. Mm. Mm. And it was a beautiful journey, mm. just being away from home and learning a new skill mm. and throwing yourself into, can I learn something new? Yes. But it helped me in that by 2009, 2010, mm. I was now a consultant for uh, a media company. Mm. And what was happening is they would say, okay, Ted, we're opening up a TV station in, for instance, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We need you to go to Nigeria, train these people, hold their hand, show them how to use camera, show them how to edit, show mm. them how to... Mm. create a TV program, show them how to do animation, show them how to, mm. Mm. you know. And um, so I ended up working from uh, 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 um, Lagos, London, Cape Town, and doing that circuit of working in different, different countries, yeah, different countries, mm. training people. Mm. Mm. But the downside was I was living out of a hotel, bro. Huh? Yeah. For about three, four years, I was living out of a hotel. So you are not... Because mm. You're sent here for six months, you finish that one, then you're sent there, and then they're saying there's no need to get for you a house because you're only here for two months. So, Unaishiko Hotel, and it just gets... You get bored completely. Ah, bro. There were times I would actually, I remember Echo Hotel in uh, Nigeria, I became very good friends with the manager. Mm. I would just tell them, today when I come back from work, just change the floor that I'm on and the view so that I feel like I'm in a different environment, please. <laughs> so they would take my things and put it in a different room and tell me, okay, you're in room so-and-so. And yeah. At least. You know, at Much least. easier <laughs> yeah. in Victoria Island. <laughs> <laughs> at least. Yeah, so... So if you look at the, that journey, mm. if you pick the artist you've worked with, you've uh, had Stone, you've worked with... Uh, when you're in heart, of course, there was Salio Yugi, the late, mm -hmm, of course, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. Esther Mwinde. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All, if you look at all that combination, how, how did you manage to deal with all those different personalities? Of course, Pete is also hyper, you, you are mm -hmm. more reserved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why he made a good pasta, anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes, yes. he must be talkative to make a good pasta. I, I, me, I would not have made a good pasta. She does a couple of mungu. My message to you today, she does a couple of mungu. Pelekea mungu. Natuombe. Sadaka ni hapa, unaeza tuma kwa ujumbe mfupi, zero seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 
I have learned as a creative, yes. the most important thing that you can do mm. is shut up yes. and listen. Shut up and listen. And watch. Yes. Don't talk. Yes. Watch. Because if you're going to bring something out of a person, yes. you really have to watch them. Yeah. Like, how are they? Behaving. What do they like? Yeah. What makes them tick? Mm. What makes them angry? Mm. What makes them happy? Mm. That's how you bring out something in a musician. Mm. Mm. Uh, but if you don't mm. spend time with them, mm. and people would be upset like, hey, Ted, Maze, may I want to record a single like next week? I say, no, no, no. It doesn't work like that with me. Mm. I want to spend time with you. Let's do lunch. Mm. Let's do breakfast. Come sleep over. Mm. Let's talk. Mm. day out weekend. You mm. know, let's... Mm. Mm. Let's just, so I can understand you. Yes. And the more you start to open up, mm. the more I get to understand what kind of music best suits you, mm. what kind of character best suits you. Mm. Remember with, um, with VP mm. and Mongolo, when we first took the pilot, it mm. was Dij and Mongolo, we mm. took it to KTN. Mm. We were told by one of the executive producers, mm. remove that ugly face from TV now. <laughs> if you don't remove that guy, we're not giving you the show. And I said, you don't get it. Yes. That guy Has is it. the show. Yeah, Mongolo is the show. For that IG. guy is the show. Yes, for I IG. No, nobody wants to see something like that on TV. I said, just trust me. Yeah. That guy is the show. Yeah. Now, why? Because I had spent time with this guy. Mm. And I knew what mm. was in him that other people didn't have didn't have and were not seeing. Mm. I said, all we need to do is put this guy like this, like this, like this, and he'll hit. Mm. To this present day, people laugh when they see him on the street yeah. because, of, <laughs> because, of, because of what he was doing. Yes. You know, um, for, for me, it's very, very important. Spend time with Someone your, your, your subject mm. as much as possible. Mm. Yeah. So th when you look at the artist you've worked with, uh, Dij was very mellow. Hudson came from, there are people from different backgrounds. For example, mm. our good friend Hudson is from Jericho. Jericho. Where oh. the gangs yes. ruled this, the crest. Darling P is from Kayole. Yes. Gidi uh, Gidi Majimaji, Dandora and Kisumu. Yes. <laughs> uh, if you look at Nikki, he's posh. Yeah, very posh. Very, very posh. posh, yes. If you look at David Ohingo, posh, yes. the late. Yes. And he was doing jazz. Well, yes, he totally was jazz. different. Yes, uh, you look at Susanna Wheel. She was from Kisumu, Kisumu. and she was a, a dancer for some Lingala band. In yes, Kisumu in Kisumu. Before, yes, before she she before joined, she joined, became her own person. Yeah. Um. What it was for me was when you look at somebody like Hardstone. Mm. He had, I'll tell you his story. He had two options. Mm and only two options, mm. become an armed robber mm. and kill people and steal, mm. which his friends opted for. Mm. So every weekend when mm. he was free, mm. he would go to committee yeah. to visit his pals yeah. on death row. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is real. Mm -hmm. His other option was mm. sing, sing your way out of, way yes, out out of, of this. Yeah. Now, Hardstone knew how to channel the, to this present day. I don't think that people, because we didn't have videos those days, we didn't, we didn't record mm. a lot of the stuff, mm. but he would channel all that energy of anger and of ghetto and of, should I be a robber? Should I, my friends are, some have been shot dead. Um, I'm, I'm seeing some in jail. He would channel all of that anger into the music. And when he'd hit the stage, mm. you'd feel like there were a hundred people on that stage and it's just one guy. He would hit the stage so big. Mm. Me and Hardstone once, mm. before we recorded, had a very big fallout. Mm. He came to the studio high, high as hell mm. on weed and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And I'm making the music and the guys asleep on the couch. Mm. I told him, bro, go home. Mm. The day you want to put all your passion in this thing, mm everything that you are the day you want to put it in this mm. come back mm. he came back two days later mm. sober as a judge mm. and very focused 
very focused. He was focused, that's why he went abroad actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sadly, when he went abroad, abroad happened. And it I'll happens. leave that story for you to actually, I think it's very important, Charles, that you go, Ketien, but you actually tick the end, eh? So, standard. And the US, after new interview. He, he called me the other day on, on WhatsApp. He says, when are you interviewing me, man? It's very important because he, if he tells you his story yes. in the U.S., yes. your criteria. Crazy, yeah? Your criteria. I had, he had a very big challenge there before. He should he not reformed. have left. Yeah, he, he should, should have not, not have left. left Kenya because yeah. in Kenya, Hudson was a king. Yeah. And there he ended up being a slave. Completely, you know? yeah. Which is what I was trying to tell him, bro, don't go. Mm. There's an album I still have it that we never released all Ziwekulu mm. the biggest rock if that album had dropped like this the history of Kenyan music would have been different because he was the first artist he was he was yes. he was he was the first uh, Kenyan um, contemporary mm. artist to fill Nyao Stadium yeah um, I don't think there's anybody who's filled Nyao Stadium none he was the first contemporary artist to stand on stage solo act in carnival and on perform. carnival grounds and yes. perform and people are fainting yeah fast he was the first solo act to go to nakuru and close dimples yeah he had to enter dimples with security guards bro yeah he was the armed only. police yeah then kalamashaka you brought them to the top and then out kalamashaka again um i don't know if you've ever because you are right, I think you've done philosophy a bit, uh, mm. the vicious cycle of poverty. Yes. Um, unfortunately, I totally disagree with it. I disagree with the vicious cycle of poverty, but it says that when you're born into poverty, chances are you remain in poverty. Mm. And I'm one of those people who believe that it doesn't matter where you're born, mm. you can transcend and, that yeah. cycle yeah. and go, go higher. Mm. And with Kalamashaka, we really did try. We really did try. Uh, Davy and I really did try to put our best foot forward and make sure that that group stay is rock solid. They stay together. They they build an empire. But then again, as management, you can only advise. You can't force. Mm -hmm. And when people are walking their journey, you also have to allow a person to, to continue. To, to continue. You yeah, know. Yeah. Okay. The you want to go must like proceed. this. You, Sawa, mm. I would advise you don't go like that, but if it's what you want to do, you mm. do. Mm. Uh, Kalamashaka with Tafsiri, he um, did very well. Mm. Uh, actually, at one point, they were number one, two, and three on the East African charts. Mm. Um, biggest hip hop act of that time. In Africa, um, actually. Yeah. Mm. Uh, went to, I think, um, Denmark or somewhere to go and. Um, record some singles with a couple of other producers and stuff mm -hmm. um, and um, they all had despite the fact that they're all from Dandora they had three different very different personalities completely yes. Johnny Vigetti has a very different personality from from Kama, from Kama mm -hmm. and from Roba mm -hmm. Roba was in KU mm -hmm. doing education mm -hmm. uh, Kama was not too sure where he wanted to go but now he's in the States and mm -hmm. he's running his own business and doing his own thing there mm -hmm. And he's always been one of those freedom fighter spokespeople mm. who mm. you guys don't understand what oppression means, mm. you know? Mm. So I don't think Johnny would understand what... Kama is into. Yeah, yes. 100%. Yes. And then Roba is on his own tip. Yes. And Roba was actually speaking a lot of truth. Mm. One of his lines was, Usinione ni kona degree ukona... Usinione ni kukwa mawe ukwanyona mini mjinga. Ni kuna degree. Mm. Unaelewa? Yes. In other words, I'm sitting on a stone, but I've got degrees. Mm. You know, I'm in the ghetto here, but I've got a degree. Mm. It's that I can, just can't find work. Mm. So the disillusionment of having a degree and not having work. And then Johnny is, no doubt, was the star of the group. Ah, the he was, Yeah, he yes. was the, he was the voice. He, he was, was the... the the, the ladies' man, the yes. guy who, when he Picks puts the on, mic. Yeah, yeah, he's got a different swag to mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. and he attracted people mm -hmm. um, with 
with the hooks and the choruses and everything. Mm. Um, the three of them should have stuck it through. Mm. Um, again, it's sad that we didn't have a strong MCSK. Mm. It's sad that we didn't have strong royalty collection. Yeah. Because I don't think that they would have been where they are now Today, yeah. if uh, MCSK was doing what it needs to do as opposed to kusaidia makoya kujaribu kuimba. Gidi gidi maji maji. Gidi and maji yeah. is a special <laughs> it's a special case. Um, those two boys were as fiery as each other. Yes. And I met them at a talent search in Florida. F2. F2. Yes. Talent search afternoon. Yeah. Mali wa huni wote wa meenda. Yes. So there was Darling P. Yeah. There was Gidi. Yeah. There was Maji. Yeah. And I say, Darling P came like fourth. Mm. Gidi came like second and Maji like third or something. Mm. So I say, I'll take Darling P first, because I saw what he other people did. didn't see. Yes. He was almost booed off stage. Yes. But I said, you guys don't understand. Yeah. He's not urban, mm. he's rural. Yes. Now there's no such thing as rural music, yeah. but when you say Mbufmbaf, yo, yes, yes, yo, mtu wa mjengo ata mwelewa, 1,000%. Yes. Na mtu wa mjengo aki mwelewa. You're done. Sold. Yeah. Because mtu wa mjengo ni... It's a bigger market yes. than the urban market. Yeah. So I said, I'll take that guy. Mm. And then I told Gideon Maji, I'll take you guys on one condition. Mm. Become a group. Mm -hmm. They fought it a bit and then they were like, ah, let's do it. Let's, yeah. So they became Gidi Gidi Maji Maji. Maji yes. That's why it's called Gidi Gidi Maji Maji, because <laughs> one was Gidi Gidi and the other one Maji was Maji Maji. Maji. <laughs> And uh, the two of them, um, Maji was always, he always knew that his light was big, he was going to shine at mm. some point. He, all he had to do was put his head down. Mm. Um, uh, he was in Aquina. Mm. Um, I remember when he started, when we started Gidi Gidi Maji Maji, he was actually in his fourth form. Gidi that? Yes. Yes, yes. And he actually excelled mm. and went to JK Ukwat and mm. did comps. Mm. Um, excelled, went into media, he's mm. still excelling. Mm. Uh, Maji Maji went into, immediately after music, he went straight into um, a media mm. with, uh, with his ghetto, uh, ghetto radio. Mm. And you can see the two of them are still very passionate about the youth agenda, yeah, the, the D agenda, mm, mm. the East Lando and trying yeah. to make sure that... <laughs> the reinvention. Uh, it's sad that young people from that area mm. are just overlooked because Musa mm. Maivi, Eastlands is a talent Kibao. kushinda Kenya nzima. Huh? Ukweli. Eastlands is a talent yes. kushinda Kenya nzima. Ukichapa Eastlands hivo kuenda Jerry, Marish, uende baka D. You full of talent homes. Talk about fashion. Talk football. about writers. Talk about football. Talk about sports. Talk about acting. Talk that's where the talent is. Yes, yeah. For some strange reason. All of them in one locality. Yeah. For some strange reason. I mean, tell your face too, by the way. Yeah? Buru. Buru nyinyi ni wajuaji. Ah, yeah. Let's look at um, the other guy. Of course, Waire and mm. uh, Nazizi. Nazizi. Necessary nice. Yeah. And then, um, Nazizi was what people used to say Mm. And she really used to hate that because people didn't understand that Nas is as eclectic mm. as eclectic can be. Yes. She will be anything to anyone, for anyone. So she can sit in the ghetto and, and hack it and blend. She can go to Mombasa, buoy buoy, and blend. She can go into an Indian home yes. and blend. She's so many things because she's a, a, a mishmash of characters. She's gone through a life journey mm. very much like mine of one day you're here, the next day you're there, the next day you're there. So she's had to adapt to being many people mm. and having many faces. Why it was just, I want to be an R&B star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> From Dago. Yes. So he came from Dagoretti, he came, uh, why the story, um, why the Paul Joe, Isa. 
alikuja kwa geti ya sing kwa mm. ya blue zebra mm. sing no audio vault yeah. akabisha wiki siku ya kwanza yeah. akaenda home ya pili ya tatu ya nne ya tano on around the sixth day yeah. Davy says there's a kid who's been at the gate six days in a row yes so you just listen to his demo yes yeah i'm like masani machache yes i don't have time anyway bring the... so i listen to 15 seconds and i'm like eh, that guy is pretty good yeah huh? yes and i took wire and made him my assistant yes i put him very close yeah told him i'm going to teach you not just to be a singer i'm going to teach you how to produce yes because you have that that year mm. so i'll teach you how to produce and he started to do a lot of um, helping on people don't know but he helped produce Susanna Wheel. Yeah. He helped produce Necessary Noise itself. Mm -hmm. He helped produce uh, Achingabura. Mm. He helped produce YOY. He helped produce Dij. Mm. He helped inspire Dij mm. to get out of rapping and into singing. Going into singing. Yeah. If it wasn't for Wire, I don't think Dij would be there mm. because Wire was, you know, like the older brother who's holding his hand like mm. We can do this. We can do this. Come on, let's do this. Mm -hmm. So, so um, uh, he he has come into his own. Now he's doing his own business. He's doing his own music. He's got his own studio. Mm -hmm. uh, Nas is a mom mm -hmm. and also is a you know radio personality, TV personality, doing her own thing as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like necessary noise for me, Kenyan boy, Kenyan girl. Mm -hmm. When you ask me about the highs. Mm -hmm. 2003 bro 2004 you know you were there mm. even if you go through your catalogs in mm. um archives in uh standard mm. we were hot it was the we biggest. were on fire yes the collective not just the me, energy the collective also, yeah. energy mm -hmm. it was anything we released just whoop, whoop, it catches fire and that was it was a brilliant time because you know then you're you're enjoying what you're doing mm. and you're not stressing too much about the money because the money is coming in mm. and and you can still push the envelope further and further and further yes you know um but it is what it is you know 2004 then kisima awards came mm. uh there was a lot of shenanigans yeah and i just thought to myself ah, i really i don't want to do this man i don't, I don't want to do this you founded like, kisima issues dropped it One thing I do not like is politics. Mm. And you know how, is it FKF, Kenya Football Federation, mm. are always fighting. Mm. And politicians are always fighting. Mm. And there's chairmanship of what? Mm. Me, when it comes to that, peace, peace, I'm out. I don't like it because either you have a leader who has a vision mm. or you don't have anything. You just have a thing with a guy who's trying to rock steady on it. Um, <laughs> it doesn't work, you know? Especially when you're a pioneer. Unataka muende hivo, na kama muende hivo, wachana na... So music mm -hmm. uh, and fashion, and they're still moving. And, and then you've said about the gummy beer is now bigger, and how are you planning to get married in future? Or wewe umesema your chapter? Joka joka imetosa. Imetosa. Hey bro, hiyo swali sasa buda inatokea wapi? Uone MV. <laughs> Wisdom dictates that we do not know what God is going to bring tomorrow. You've answered. You've answered me you correctly. Know, so if God sees it fit that you some damsel is going to see this young man with his gray hair is very sexy, <laughs> then you know. Come on by and by. Come on by? Yeah. If God decides that uh, sasa we safari yako ni man solo. Yeah. You know in Luland you cannot be man solo, it's not allowed. Uh, but we are in Nairobi, but we are not in Luland. This is an extension. <laughs> don't, don't be hard saying that by the political powers that be, my friend. You might find yourself in a, in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you look at your journey backwards, mm, what would you say is your highest point? Da, 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 da. I've had so many high points, I, I, I can't... Charles, I'll tell you this. Um, 
The Bible says that your gift shall put you in front of kings mm -hmm. and queens. And people think it's a joke. Mm -hmm. I met Rao and I worked for Rao. Mm -hmm. Because of what? I'm not smart, my, my talent. Mm -hmm. I'm a dumbass guy. Mm -hmm. um, I met the mayor of London. Mm -hmm. I met uh, Kelly Rowland. Mm -hmm. I met, um, I'm locked up, Akon. Mm. I met, I've met so many people through this journey and so many people have used music that I've created. And when I look at it, I say, Enyewe, your talent will put you yeah. in front of kings and queens. Yeah. And for me, that's, that's my highlight, is for people to actually say, hey, we see what you're doing, come, sit and it continues to be so for me consistently i never i, I never planned i didn't plan to to do dom or unwalkable mm -hmm. or uh, atoti mm -hmm. you asked me about a highlight there's a highlight atoti this way atoti that, that way, way. Atoti until, until 2023 still atoti <laughs> 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 you know you you think about this piece of music that's celebrating 23 years now how and it's played in every club. Still. And if it was a child, it would be in uni. What would you advise young guys out there? Fashion, music, art, across the facets. I, I, feel, I feel this, Charles. Um, and I felt this from last night, so I don't even know. Maybe it's God that brought you here today mm -hmm. because we hadn't talked last night. Mm -hmm. But I felt um, a message that um, says that... Uh, the God force in you, that God force, that energy, is what you need to channel in order for your gift and talent to shine. Now, when I say that, people are going to think, oh, this guy is a spiritual awakened person. No, watch and he could break you down. Mm. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So the God force, now that you understand it, yeah. from the day you were born has given you a talent. Mm. And that talent is inside there mm. with that God force. Mm. When you combine them mm. and you bring them out, it is an amazing explosion of a human being that we need to experience. Mm. There are so many human beings who are living underneath their gifts and talents mm. and need to hear that message because they need to know that that gift and that talent is what we're going to celebrate on your final day when you're here on earth. We're not going to say, hey, alikona bens kubwa, jo alikona manzi mpoa, no, manzi wako ataenda, brother, TV pia itaonona mtu mwingi. Yeah, ata nguo. pia ugunzwa. Zitabaliwa. Lakini, iyo talent yako ndiyo takumbuka. And that gift is so important, you know, like like what you've done with your life. Um, as a writer and now media personality, I look at it and I say, mm. wow, that guy has come a long way, bro. Yes. You know, yeah. because I know where you started from. Yeah. And I see, see gift, see what a gift does for a person. See at you, Lisa, man, and you, Lisa, man, like you're gifted at a certain thing and you use that gift to yeah. keep on moving Pushing. yourself forward mm. further and further. And that's mm. so important, Charles. Thank you, bro. Karibu sana. Where is the girl me be at Salimie? Oh, well, certainly come on, Menda Salon. You've been watching the history makers, of course, with Ted Odongo Josiah. That's, I'm the one who calls him that name. <laughs> only you. Oh, it's only me who calls him <laughs> Ted Odongo Josiah. His three names. Ted Josiah, the great yes. musician, producer, fashion uh, designer, and everything. And the political, I know. Political retiree consultant. <laughs> Yeah, we'll Keep watching. <laughs>